Welcome to the book angle where we talk about books from different angles and sometimes go in circles. I'm Anna and this is Sabrina and this is not our normal video content. <laughs> We're going in a circle. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, it's an important one. Uh, unfortunate life update. Um, that's, I don't know why, I've been talking in a British accent when I get stressed. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> that's your life. Um, Things are going wrong. Oh, um, what is, what was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> Things are going wrong. Is that Irish? Go ahead. I don't know What's what your, that was. Anyway. I don't know what that was. What's your um, update, Anna? My update is I have a tumor in my stomach. Um... <laughs> We're not making light of it. It's just when we're uncomfortable, <laughs> we laugh. Um, so. Yeah, so the way that I'm dealing with having cancer is by making jokes about having cancer. Um, my, my current favorite is being like, yeah, I can drink dairy. The price I had to pay is stomach cancer. Um. <laughs> and as someone who can't have dairy, I'm like, oh, I guess I'll take the vomiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so because of that i'm having surgery um hopefully recovery will be smooth and i will be um it's a pretty like as far as cancer goes it's a pretty mild situation um though it should be able to remove the tumor and i will be able to move on with my life as normal um that said because of surgery, I will be out of commission for video recording for a little bit. And we're not quite sure how long it's going to take for me to recover. So, yeah. uh, we're going to be kind of on hold. Yeah. There may be some. It really depends on if I can get my posse of guest stars. <laughs> there may be some special guest appearances um, for a couple of videos, but... Whenever we come back, because there's a couple of series that we've been working on. One of them is our Throne of Glass book club, which I know we actually do have some people who actually are watching very consistently and talking to us about it. Whenever we come back, we will do Air Fire, which will be fun because, Anna, that was your favorite one. That was when you started really liking the series. So uh, yeah, we'll come it's back not in my, I, I, It's not my favorite book in the series. It's just oh. when I started liking the series more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and then other than that, we also want to do something with Funny Story by Emily Henry. So we still have some fun stuff coming. I just don't know when they're coming. Yeah. Um, but I'll still also try to, like, maybe keep people posted on how Anna is doing as well, especially if I do have some, like, guest people who visit. We can give an Anna update because the book angle is not the same without Anna, but... It She's may be, be it may be the easiest surgery in the world, and I will be back to normal in two weeks, and it will not be a big deal. Um, Maybe that's what I'm hoping for. So uh, yeah, that's what we're hoping for. We'll see. I meet with my oncologist tomorrow um, for the the last time before surgery, so we're getting close. This is the longest video that you've probably done about this. Do you want to, you don't have to, but would you like to share about what the process, like what they have said it will be like? Because for some people, when they hear cancer, they immediately think chemo, like radiation. Yeah. But in your case, it's a little different. Right. So I'll just, I have gotten a lot of questions about like, what symptoms did I have that prompted me to go to the doctor and blah, blah all of that kind of thing. Um I will preface this with I did not have any symptoms. I currently do not have any symptoms of this tumor. Um, I have a genetic mutation uh, that causes tumors. This is one of the tumors and cancers that it can cause. My mother has bre had breast cancer. So when she had breast cancer seven years ago, we got genetically tested, found out we shared this mutation. And so I have been getting scanned on a regular basis to make sure that we are aware of anything that could be t developing. Um, in January, they found a suspicious spot on an MRI, and their first thought was, oh, this is near your spleen. It could be some extra spleen tissue. Maybe you were born with something called a splenule, which is like a baby bonus spleen. I was um, so excited for that to be it for you because yeah. you would be the person to have a bonus spleen. Just like my sister's the person who has four kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my new fun fact was going to be, um, I have two spleens. And um, they, 
uh, got me in to see a gastroenterologist and they did a scan of my spleen, which was pretty cool to watch. Um, it was very expensive. Um, but the results of that came back very quickly and my doctor called me and was like, hey, it's not spleen tissue. It's, it's looking like you got a tumor there. So, um, I followed up with an oncologist who I really, really like. I really like his team. Um, they have been really supportive and communicative. So that is great. Um, and they did some more testing. I had an endoscopic biopsy. Um, so they biopsied the tumor. They saw it right away and were able to be like, we really think this is uh, something called a gastrointestinal stromal tumor. It's commonly called GIST. Um, it's not a GIST tumor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told people that you had. Well, it is GIST. It is, but it's not. The T is redundant. The, yeah, the T is, is redundant. It, or like if you say GIST tumor, it's like saying gastrointestinal stromal tumor tumor. So. <laughs> right. Um, so so I have GIST, GIST and it's still relatively small um and their current recommendation was we'll just need to do surgery pop it out and you should be good to go um a lot of people do not know that they have these tumors until they have developed until they're like significantly larger than mine um and i'm talking like they can get huge like baseball golf uh, like uh, basketball size like they are like you can look pregnant with them because they are so large um and my aunt had one because she also has this mutation and hers she probably had for like 20 plus years before they found it and she was vomiting blood there was she had a lot of bad symptoms because it was destroying her organs um i nowhere near that case um so for me it's like okay you don't need any form of chemo we don't think um and we're just gonna pop it out and you'll be scanned for the rest of your life as you are already doing um just to make sure that it doesn't come back but unless they find something unexpected in surgery i should not need any form of further treatment like a chemo and for this they prescribe something that is essentially a chemo pill. Um, that's like the best. It's not the technical definition is different, but that's the best way to describe it. Is essentially chemo in a pill form, and it's not nearly as like symptoms. Like it's not as bad on your body, and it's very targeted. So um, it can be very effective for these types of tumors. So even if I had to do that. I would still not be nearly as sick as someone who normally has cancer. So, yeah. So not that any type of cancer is a good cancer because it's not. Um, but it seems like the treatment plan and how, even if they notice that it has spread or that you need the chemo pill, you are going to be in a different situation. Um, something that has been from like the the friend outsider part of it, I think it just taught me that every type of cancer is so different. And so just the ways that, and also the way that people respond to things is very different mm-hmm. um, because you like to make jokes and we both laugh when we're uncomfortable <laughs> and we have a lot of different medical knowledge because of you. Um, I think it just taught me that everyone's situation might be different. So it's not like one cancer fits all um and one reaction fits all so i don't know i only wanted to bring that up because i think when people hear cancer they immediately think of like i don't know like yeah. all of the symptoms that come with chemo and radiation <clears throat> yeah and it will look different for you yeah and we have gotten to a point in our medical advancements that there are a lot of cancers out there that would have been deadly 20 years ago that are now treatable um if they're caught early enough at least um like my mother when she found out she had breast cancer she thought that was a death sentence and they very quickly like that she sat with that for like a week before she was able to get in with her oncologist and like sit down with an actual doctor who could walk her through treatment and he was like no like your life is not in danger here like even though it's stage three 
um, breast cancer and that could have killed someone 20 years ago. We're at a point now where like, yeah, you're going to have to go through surgery and chemo and potentially radiation. But like once those things are over, you will be able to have a normal life again. And she has had a normal life again. She's fully back to her normal self. Um, so it's just, (laughs) I'm very thankful that I was aware of this, um, that we caught it before it had gotten large enough to cause symptoms, before it had spread anywhere else in my body, and that it will be a relatively simple procedure as far as, like, yeah, they're still cutting into my stomach and taking a tumor out, but they're not having to remove any vital organs. We're not worried about, like, long-term danger for me anything like that so Um, it's just we're gonna need to be on a break for a hot minute (laughs) (laughs) yeah I just I didn't know because I wanted to give you space to actually share what was happening because I feel like you've posted like snippets on things but it's a you know a longer form content to share what's happening but yeah taking a break is gonna be helpful sending good vibes that nothing has um spread making sure that I don't know that you're kind to people um, <laughs> and sending sending well wishes. But I think it's hopefully everything's going to go well. And we'll be back eventually. And everything's going to be fine with your care team. Yeah. And then the next time we meet, I have a request for your outfit where I want you to wear the oh. personally victimized by my stomach shirt. <laughs> you have, I love that shirt for you. And I like that it encompasses your humor so well. Yeah. Cool. I wore it to, um, I wore it to see my primary care doctor when I met with him last week to be like, Hey, this is going on in my life. You should probably be aware um and he had like gotten all of my previous tests from my specialists and he was like oh my gosh you poor thing you're really going through it and I, and then he's like what does your shirt say and I was like it says personally victimized by my stomach and he was like oh my god <laughs> he's like that's really funny he's <laughs> like so people are gonna have to ask what that means and you're gonna have to be like I have cancer and then they're gonna feel awkward and I'm like yeah <laughs> everyone's gonna be like oh do you have IBS and they're like, I have cancer I have a stomach tumor <laughs> um, um so I do like that shirt I'm wearing it again to my oncologist tomorrow I want to get his opinion so <laughs> I want to wear it to surgery too, but I can't like wear it into surgery. That so only the nurses would get to see it. But I still think it's really funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it really captures your humor just really well. Um, I love that for you. I do. That is my special request. That when we co- you're gonna get so tired of the shirt. Maybe we can get you different variations of the same <laughs> shirt. But I want you to wear something that talks about your your journey yeah. <laughs> that's my request but on that note <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for all of your support again continue saying good vibes jokes well wishes whatever else anna wants what else do you want or is that it <laughs> that's it i mean yeah Check out also Anna's um, personal page, Misty Mountain Legends. I'll awkwardly like brag, like support in that way. They have some cool game stuff that maybe you can donate to or buy to maybe support medical bills because it's not cheap to have cancer. Even if it is a good cancer, it's still expensive. Um, Yeah. So check those things out if you are interested or feel led to like donate. That would be awesome. So I just wanted to push that out there for you so you don't have to do it. (laughs) (laughs) But other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I was going to say, well, no, you can still do it. Yeah, like and subscribe for when I come back. (laughs) That's our normal setup. And I was like, normally we talk about books. (laughs) But like and subscribe. Okay, bye. Bye.